hello in this video i just want to show you quickly and tell you about the node crypto module it's uh, an inbuilt module that we can use in generating random characters it has a function called random bytes that can be used to generate random characters so to see the node crypto module let's go to nodejs.org forward slash api so nodejs.org forward slash api what you only want to see is the crypto module and inside the crypto module if you scroll down there's a function called crypto.randombytes it's used to generate random data that is pseudo random data like the one we just generated so we have it here crypto.randombytes so if we click on this we can see what we have here it says generates cryptographically strong pseudo random data now the size argument it takes two parameters the size and the callback as you can see this is how it is used let's just quickly see how we can use this in our project then compare with what we already generated in the last video so if we go to our project the server.js file now the crypto.js method is an inbuilt module so we don't need to require it inside our project or we don't need to install it rather but we just what we need to do is just require the crypto module so right down here i can create a new variable call it crypto and set it equal to require crypto now inside right here what i want to do is I want to create a random um alphanumeric characters as well that is pseudo random data now to do that what we need to do because we want to make use of only the random bytes method so what we're going to do right here is you say crypto dot random bytes then inside we specify the size right now we can just add 20 then we add a callback function or oh, let's use the es6 arrow function and inside we pass the error and the buffer which is going to like hold the results then inside here what i can do is create another variable called random or i can say crypt equal to buff or buffer or the results dot to string so we convert whatever is returned to string and we pass the hex value so whatever is going to be returned we convert it to string and we pass the hex value now what we want to do right now is our this rest dot send rather i will add it inside this crypto um, callback function here i will use the ex6 template string here as well that is the back, um, forward tick which you can find before the number one key on your keyboard or beneath the escape key so i'll take out this then to display this i will use the dollar sign then open and close curly brace so this is for random characters then i can put a break here then i can say crypto characters then i use the temp um, bracket sign then inside i'll pass the crypt so i'll pass the crypt variable inside which is which is going to hold the result so right here what i just did here simple we are using the crypto.randombytes function which takes the size then takes in the callback function we are using the es6 um, arrow function then the result that is being returned we are converting converting it to string then we use the um ex6 um template string passing in the random characters as we did earlier adding a break then the crypt character um, result as well now we have this already if we restart the server let's go ahead and restart our server we stop the server clear then we restart this using the up arrow key node server.js 
So wait for the server to restart. Now if we open our browser, here we go to localhost 3000. So if I type localhost 3000, here I'm getting an error. Let's see what the error is. It says script is not defined. Okay. I think I, okay, it's supposed to be crypto. Let me see where I'm having the error. Okay, I think let's just change this variable. Let's change the name. I can call it rand or random value. Then come here and also change this to random value. Then I can correct this. So I have this now. Let me go ahead and restart the server. Node server.js. Then go back here and I refresh the page. Right now you can see. So if I increase this. Now you can see the random characters that we generated using our own function. Then you can see the crypto characters. So they are both generating alpha numeric characters as you can see. So I just want to show you that, okay, there are also different um, modules that can be used to generate alpha numeric characters. This crypto module is inbuilt, so you don't have to install or you don't have to install it via npm install. You just have to require the module. So if you don't want to use it, maybe when you publish this module, you can decide to use your own npm module instead of using the crypto module to generate um, random characters.